What's up YouTube? Thanks for checking in. Here's a new update on my carnivorous plants. It is almost the end of winter. It's about to hit March coming up, which calls for spring. So check this out. My plants, I've trimmed so many. Oh no, that's not good. You see that right there? Let me zoom in on that. I will need to spray my plants with insecticide and fungicide. This is what I use for a fungicide. It's called Dacanil. And here I got my Bayer's Advanced Rose and Flower Insect Killer, which is my insecticide. And I will be spraying all of my plants after this video so I can further stop the spread of the disease that we just saw, that powdery mildew stuff. When you first observe it, please just go ahead and, and take care of it. It spreads like wildfire. This sundew here looks really happy. Sticky, sticky. So check this out. You see that Dana's Delight pitcher plant right there, that red, beautiful plant? Well, you have a chance to win one, a small piece of it, along with a small Saracenia purpurea venosa. They will be both small plants and will be shipped through priority mail, receiving them in two to three days. So if you're interested in entering this giveaway, go check out my Instagram profile for more details on the three simple steps in order to enter. So. Let's continue on with this video. As you can see, Dana's Delight does hold up their pitchers. It's still winter. It's almost the end of winter. And the pitchers on these still look fabulous. Look at that. They look sharp. I'm going to show you another one. Look at that. Such a beautiful hybrid. I'm curious to know if any of you out there watching this video have a Dana's Delight. Does your Dana's Delight have pitchers like this? Do they hold up like mine do? I'm going to cut these pitchers off though in a few days so they can join the rest of the Saracenia. They have all been chopped as you can see. They're trimmed down, almost all of them. It's always best to trim down your plants before spring. That way you can give your plants uh, the maximum amount of sunlight down to its core so they can grow better and obviously have room to grow new pitchers. Ah yes, look at this purpurea. I got this one from Rob Co. Probably in like 2017, so I've had it for two years under my care. And look at these. I have not had the chance to trim any of these at all. So this is what winter has done to them. Basically, just decayed the pitchers a little around the edges. Some of the pitchers are completely dead. Um, I really need to get in there and cut these out because they are more vulnerable to diseases that will harm your plants or even kill them if you allow them to be grown like this. Uh, having a messy growth uh, kind of invites all sorts of sh that will make your plants not grow their best and not look their best. So I really need to get on these plants and uh, put in some work. How many of you people would like to see me chop, chop, trim these plants down on video? Would you like to see me cutting these, trimming these bad boys down? Uh, I can do that for you. Just uh, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a video like that. These plants will totally look naked after I do that chop. In fact, I'm going to show you this uh, purpura here. This one was actually trimmed and cut. And as you can see, it looks beautiful. The pictures, I left the ones that were uh, vibrant, uh, still were holding on. We are just days away from spring. You could already see a flower coming out of this plant. I'm excited to see all the flowers this year. With these uh, pitchers here, I fill them up with water when I need to, once I see them very low. And once this pitcher completely dries, I will be cutting it off. How do you guys like my voice? Do you guys like hearing me talk throughout my videos or you just want music? Let me know. I just wish I had more time with my plants. I really do. I haven't talked about my personal life outside of my whole YouTube channel and Instagram platform. I do work five days a week, 10 hour shifts. I'm very tired every time I get off work. So, you know, I do what I can with my social media garbage. I try to make content for you guys. I try to do this for myself it makes me happy making content thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters you guys make me happy
if you guys have any suggestions or any type of ideas maybe i can make some content you guys want to see drop them down in the comments below drop them just drop them none of this none of these plants are going to look like this in like three weeks all of this is going to be full of just grown <laughs> pictures let's get started with the venus fly traps the majority of my Venus flytraps have been collected through flytrapstore.com. It's been a while. I think my first purchase through them was in like 2013 when I started my carnivorous plant collection. All of my Venus flytraps have been divided and trimmed down. I'm going to allow the music to just go ahead and play. My voice is kind of running low on juice, <clears throat> meaning I'm getting a little dry. So I'm gonna let the music just play so I can regain some more vocal juices. I will be fertilizing all of my carnivorous plants once spring arrives. Max C fertilizer and I have a whole video on that. If you want to learn how to safely apply the fertilizer on your carnivorous plants, check that video out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. As for this whole setup I have here, I've already made a video showing how I set this up how I have it running. I'll leave a link in the description down below as well. These seedlings down here, they have been growing for me. I have Venus flytrap and Saracenia seedlings in there. I'm looking forward to making a video on those babies right there. Please like, share, or subscribe if you like the content I provide. That helps out a whole bunch. And now back to the beautiful music. One thing that I didn't mention is that I made a water table using pond liner and some pieces of wood. It turned out looking okay. I mean, it's not going to fall apart. It works. It's going to hold all the water, making it a heck of a lot easier on me. All I have to do now is just dump five gallons of water in there and all my plants are watered. Some plants like these here are on trays. Same process. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. I'm happy you guys stopped by and checked out this update. You guys were asking for it and here it is. Let me know if you guys want to see me cut away on these perps, getting them prepared for spring. Like, share, or subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.